Hi, I'm Philia Stain and I'm the safari expert and this morning I'm going to take you on a virtual safari in one of my favorite parts of the Greater Kruger National Park, namely the Manileti Game Reserve. And behind me you can see the entrance gate, it's about 10 past 6 now so the gate will open in about 20 minutes and it looks like it's going to be an absolutely amazing morning. So the idea is basically to go on a morning drive and then to share the highlights with you. Enjoy! How are you? Like a man. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Perfect, thanks so much. That's just 55 Rand entrance fee. That's less than four US dollars. Without a doubt, the best value for money for any game reserve in the low fund. But that's not the only reason I love Manuleti so much. I've got 23,000 hectares and usually I've got it to myself. And this is excellent game viewing area. Now, I, my plan this morning is to head down to the main dam uh, where the Naru Lion Pride has at least 10 cubs. Um, I know that they're in that area because I've been keeping a close eye on the virtual safaris posted by Tsuntuali Safari Lodge. So do yourself a favor, go and check the link in description. And, um, and you'll get an idea of exactly what I'm talking about. I haven't seen these lions myself. I've tried a few times over the last few weeks. So let's hope that this morning is the lucky morning. This year is called Mantuana and PC Pan. And a few days ago, I was extremely lucky because I bumped into the shy Wanga male leopard here. Now, at first, he was just sitting in the tall grass, uh, busy feeding on a warthog he had just killed. Um, but then a big spotted hyena came to harass him. And that actually worked to my favor because uh, the leopard then dragged the carcass out of the tall grass into the open. Um, I watched him feed a little bit and every now and again the hyena would harass him and then he would drag it a little bit further into the open and eventually I watched it drag it all the way to the nearest big marula tree and at first he just sat at the base kind of looking up uh, it gave me a good opportunity just to look at it through the binoculars and eventually I was lucky enough to actually watch the leopard hoist the carcass into the tree. Now at that stage the hyena came running in at the base and the leopards, it was quite a sort of an awkward position high up in the tree um, and yeah, just amazing sighting and because the leopard was so tired it actually sat up in the tree for a while which gave me a great opportunity to get some good footage of it and yeah, just one of the most amazing leopard sightings I've ever had in Manuleti. sundowner loop and it runs right along the edge of the main dam and this is the area where I'm hoping to find this Naru lion pride with the cubbies I know that they've got den sites on either side of the dam and it's just gone seven o'clock the sun's coming out it's heating up a little bit so my hope is that these lions are gonna come out from wherever they hide to soak up the sun a little bit Let's see whether we can find them Oh, this is just so beautiful. So here along the sandbanks is where Neil of Tintualu had them one evening. Just an amazing sighting that he had of the whole pride. Again, I'll link to that video in the description below. You must go and check it out. It doesn't look like they're here this morning. Man, I just love watching these little tree squirrels sun themselves early in the morning. Must be one of my favorite things in the whole world. So what they do is they basically go for these forks in the marula trees and then they just kind of huddle up and sit in the sun and look cute. Exactly like these two little guys are doing. In fact, there's another one a little bit further up. Yeah, this little guy is just grooming himself, getting ready for the day. Gotta look pretty. Oh, big stretch and yawn.
So no luck with the lions at the main dam. So I've moved a little bit further on to a place called the Jackal Plains, which is by far the largest, most open area here in the center of the reserve. And it's the place where I've seen the most cheetah before. In fact, just the other day, I stopped here and a male cheetah came walking from the distance right up to the vehicle where he sent Mark at one of the old signposts. And he was actually sniffing at it for ages and then just walked um, into the distance, in fact, across to the Kruger National Park. So I'm just parking off here for a little bit, listening. Maybe I hear lions roaring in the distance and maybe I'm lucky and a cheetah pops up again. I was just scanning the area here on the Jackal Plains and I spotted something in the distance and I don't know whether you can see it on the camera but it's a serval um, which really is a very rare cat to spot but the perfect area to find a tall grass um, lots of rodents around so it's that little speck in the distance and he's just sort of scanning the area wow what an amazing sighting serval first time I've seen one in ages there you can just see it walking to the right. Let's see what it's going to do. Just looking over its shoulder, sitting down again. Absolutely amazing. Now, oh, Mr. Serval has disappeared somewhere in this tall grass. I don't think we're going to get another visual of him, but yeah, what a great start to the morning. Now this is one of the things that I absolutely love about the Manuleti. This is one of the public roads and just look at it, it's an amazing little two track like you would expect from a place like the Sabi Sands. And yeah, I'm allowed to drive this with my own car, self drive safari in an amazing place like this. Now one thing that you do have to remember is that there are concession roads that belong to the lodges that you are not allowed to drive and unfortunately there's no, even though there is a map, there's no signposts in the reserve so it's very easy to get lost and that I must admit is quite unfortunate um, for people that, that don't know the area and that haven't been here before. But just look at this, it's just so so beautiful. Yeah look what I found, a male ostrich. And he looks so handsome in the backlight. Doesn't look like there are any ladies around. Not sure where they are. Now these open areas are absolutely ideal for ostriches. And we don't see them that often because the low felt here in the Greater Kruger is actually quite dense. But with Manuleti being as open as it is, that means we do see them here from time to time. A lovely herd of zebra and wildebeest here and this one has got a little red-billed ox picker on its bum it's looking for some ticks perfect open area to find these guys seen sable here before which is an animal that we see so so seldom in the low felt um, but it loves tall grass uh, something that Manyaleti has a lot of. Uh, I also saw a big big beautiful bull here just the other day. But yeah, let's see you'll see it's a beautiful little path here running on the opposite side of the dam that I was earlier and I just always feel like something can happen when I drive here. Lots of anticipation. It's a beautiful male Nyala crossing the road in front of me. Wow. Must be one of my favorite antelopes. It's just got such beautiful colors. I've just found a female Nyala and a little calf as well. Just standing right next to me. Quite a curious little guy.
So initially my plan was to stick to the northern part of the reserve, but since it was so quiet around the main dam, I decided to pop over to the south and to come to one of my favorite places called S8 Dam. I usually stop there for a mid-morning coffee and since it's quarter past nine already now, it seemed like a good idea. And I'm now where the old S8 road and the new S8 road split and in the sand here, I found some fresh lion tracks. I love this bit approaching the water. We're very close now. I always love this bit wondering whether you're going to see anything and if you do, what it's going to be. Come on, lion, show yourself. I see a hippo. A few birds. No sign of the lions though, unfortunately. Just made myself a nice cup of coffee and I'm gonna watch this hippo for a while. Maybe we're lucky and we see him doing something cool or laughing a little bit. So this is S8 Dam and as you can see right there in the middle, there's Mr. Hippo. He's just got his head above the water. Man, I just love hippos. This guy was quite entertaining. I think I'm going to leave him though and slowly start making my way back to the main gate. Um, it's starting to heat up quite a lot and the light is getting very harsh. Uh, but what I'll do is on the way back out, I'll go past the main dam and maybe one or two other small water holes. And let's see whether we can't find some elephants to end off this drive. found a whiteback vulture in this dead tree. I don't think there's any carcass around. I think he just slept here last night. It's just waiting for it to heat up and for the thermals to start rising before it gets active today. Beautiful though with a blue sky behind it. There's lots of general game around and I've just come across this beautiful herd of giraffes. There seems to be quite a few of them. There's a big beautiful male in the background and then this female feeding in the foreground. A few other females and even a few youngsters around as well. So I just got back to the main dam and just as I had hoped, some elephants have come down to drink. Now unfortunately they're on the far side so I can't get much closer than this. But I'm very glad we were able to find them. Looks like two young bulls to me and I think they may have had their fill because at the moment they're just standing there kind of playing with the water. This main dam really does attract a lot of general game towards the middle of the day when it heats up. There are hundreds of impala and quite a few water buck around here as well. I hope you can hear that but that's a pair of African fish eagles calling in the distance. Let's quickly go see whether we can find them. Wow, what a cool way to end this first virtual safari here in the Manjaleti Game Reserve. 
I really hope you enjoyed it with me and let me know in the comments whether you'd like me to make more of these virtual safaris. Also remember to check out St. Swali Safari Lodges on the beat. It's their own version of the virtual safari. I'll put a link in the description and also go and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and do check out some of my other videos as well.